What is going on guys? You're back with another video in the Chargers Online User Franchise and it is week four going against the Lions. Week one, not a great game. Week two, not a great game. And honestly, week three because of the injury to Jacoby, not a great game. But hopefully, get back on track here versus the Lions. It is an away game, so you're not guaranteed to win. Uh, and Jacoby, luckily, it was only a one game injury. Very unfortunate situation, but let's start out early, get to Eckler. And uh, a little bit of a spoiler, Eckler starts to play quite a bit of snaps throughout this stretch. I'm not exactly sure why, but he started doing really well, so I just didn't really adjust it. So but look at the play by Mike Williams. But at the end of the day, Melvin, I don't know, he just wasn't getting it done. And I mean, I'm not really going to you know change anything up. And look at this, wide open Tyrell down the sideline, and he's going to force his way for a 42-yard touchdown. What a play, Tyrell always been my favorite receiver on this team Keenan probably drawn a little bit of the double teams you'd think Tyrell would be by now but since he's the number two on the depth chart people probably don't expect it you know you gotta got a game plan for what you see I mean Tyrell clearly statistically even uh, the most successful on the team I mean this year to be fair Hunter Henry's having a season and here goes uh, Keenan Allen speaking of uh, that number one guy <laughs> I mean Keenan's kind of the, the scapegoat B is wide open. Hey, we find B. Tyrell does drop it, unfortunately. Tyrell's overall is almost higher than Keenan now. And uh, with his dev being so high, it might stay that way. And look at Melvin go. Melvin cutting inside down to the 22-yard line. First and 10. Eckler in the backfield. Eckler wide open, but so is Tyrell. We take the first down to Tyrell. Down to the 8. Off to a pretty damn good start on offense. What even happened to his drive? I honestly don't even remember. Uh-oh, well, there's his, uh, there's his drive. Now I can remember because we just fumbled. That is unfortunate. Jacoby always fumbling the ball, which sucks, but it happens. And look at King. King, take that back, please. And, of course, he cannot hear potential hold, but maybe on his team. Who knows? Or our team, Casey Hayward, nice little play, swats it away. And, of course, we are going to decline this because I feel a third and ten is more important with this defense and I'm right, because the sack anyways, Melvin gets the first of the game, and you know there's a chance he's going to get a lot more, and there goes Melvin Gordon. Speaking of a different Melvin, not really getting much, man. We are really, really struggling on the ground. I mean, it makes sense with this offensive line, but still. And look at Travis. What a travesty that he dropped. <laughs> Third and seven to the 48 from the 48-yard line. Inside and Hunter Henry, the most dependable catcher on this team for sure. Comes up with the play and taken down the field. I thought Hunter was going to hold on to that, but animations kind of collided there. It's a little weird, but expected, expected. Third and ten, only guy open, Hunter Henry. And once again, the most dependable catcher. Another third down conversion. Second and four, Melvin on the play action. Y was wide open, by the way. And then again, we went to Henry, who once <laughs> he's a good catcher, but obviously can't hold on to that one. Had Y wide open there. It's... Uh, it's an unfortunate situation. And look at Henry, another clutch third down conversion, having a very good start to this game passing. Here goes Melvin inside, down to the five-yard line, and it's going to be a second and goal. Eckler is in. Eckler is going to take credit for the entire drive on a five-yard rushing touchdown, and that's why Jacoby's touchdown sucks on the season. And look at a nice little run to the outside. That's kind of what he needed to get going. Perrine. Uh, D Sam, he's not a bad player, but Perrine is very slow, so we got to make sure we lock him up. I mean, there's really no reason for him to get space. Casey Hayward makes the stop. Third and six, now with five minutes left from the 49 yard line. It's a screen, and the D line reads that one nicely. It's going to be hard for you to beat us with screens and runs with this D line. Third and 10 from the 15 yard line, early start, and. That's not a good decision. I, I think I seen Henry, and for some reason I just didn't throw it. I don't know what I don't know what to tell you. It was a mistake, and it's gonna cost us. Not not statistically, not only statistically, but physically, or not. And here goes the rookie Hill. Who <laughs> the stupid turnaround thing just cost us a pick six with a rookie player. Unfortunate, but. We did get the ball back instantly. Keenan Allen, look at the space. Oh, my Lord. Tries to hurdle the man and gets upended. The space there. I can't believe Keenan was that open. He's got 88 speed. How are you going to give him that kind of room? Melvin fumbles the ball. Do you see why I don't like running the ball? 
do you see? People tell me, run the ball more. Don't get me wrong. I would love to if it actually worked, but it doesn't. And look at this play. Over the line. And Trevor Williams is going to get a pick six. And we're going back to this, looking back at this, this happened like a few weeks ago, this game. But I do regret accepting it. But at the same time, even though it's a Madden flaw, what do you really do? Like, you know, like, you know, for a fact, let's be honest, he was trying to slide, but his guy, for some reason, threw it well over the line. I really, I, it was, it's such a hard decision because 99% of people in the league are going to accept it against me. I, I, well, you know what I, you know what I mean? Accept the touchdown. If it was a really trash player, I would have let it, I would have been like, yeah, whatever, take it back. There you go. Melvin touchdown, but it was Trevor in, in the end. And, I mean, at the end of the day, it cost me anyways because I had to pull my starters, even though technically by rule I didn't have to. First throw for Cardale, throws a pick. I didn't know that. I forgot the rules that were that you have to pull them after the first half, but I pulled them a little early, so it is what it is. Melvin with his second sack. Like I said, you know he's going to get more time, and you see Dan Feeney goes down there. We have a lot of depth, but Feeney was a starter, so even though he wasn't a great overall, it's still a bit of a hit. And here... Trevor Williams gets the pick, and honestly, after that, kind of glad I did <laughs> did not accept the penalty because, or I, yeah, it didn't accept the penalty. It's a weird scenario. I Madden should just stop making trash games, and then we won't have these scenarios, you know? Eckler, look at the moves. Look at the moves. I'm not saying Eckler is better than Melvin. He's just had better plays. I don't know what to say. So, I mean, it is what it is. And here, Cardale, I mean, that's just not even close. I know I should have probably threw to Travis, but... That's not even close. Third and ten. Oh, look at Tyrell getting the first on the ground. Pretty sure there. 27 to zero. Still moving the ball. I mean, you're not going to not go for it. I had B wide open, by the way, and I just took so long. Boehringer tries to get out of bounds. Cannot to the 21. First and ten. Can Cardale get a score? Can he do it? And he's got Hunter. Tiptoes. Oh, look at the score. That is a beauty from Cardale. And a great catch by Hunter. Inside, who is that? Is that Jatavis? The man, Jatavis, trying to make moves. Gets kind of caught up to the four-yard line. Going to take a heave. Let's see if we can get it. Why not? Cardale stats don't matter. He only rushed two there. It doesn't matter. Whatever. The rules don't matter there. And there was some lag. Didn't get to see what happened. It was just dropped. Sounds good. Second and seven. Start of the second half. It's not looking good. It's a 34-0 game. And a, what was that? I just ate dirt for no reason. Unbelievable. It happens, but unbelievable. Is that Melvin? That is Melvin for number three on the game. What a god, man. Please never retire on me. Second and 20 to the inside, and nice little move. He followed his blocks well there. He's going to, you know, it's a very manageable third down here from the 40. I mean, it's not looking great, but still, he's got a chance underneath, and... There you go with the defense. Is that Casey Hayward? No, it is Derwin, I believe. Fourth and two from the 40. An early fourth down conversion, which, I mean, to be honest, he kind of has to at this point. Nice little run, uh, run with his quarterback. Probably a late hit penalty for Derwin, but you're never going to see that in Madden. Third and six from the 29-yard line to the outside. Ooh, he almost caught that for a touchdown, but Perriman makes the play, and he gets his first points of the game. And that is probably not a great decision by me. Mike Williams is specifically, he's a good catcher, but uh, he just doesn't have good jumping. He just doesn't seem like that guy in the clutch. And there's a nice little play. Oh, look at him go. Still, uh, you know, really doesn't get much, but fighting off a lot of players there. Second and 10, two minutes left, and he's backing up very far and takes the late read, and we're able to pop him over the middle. Third and 10 now with two minutes left in the third and there you go backing up a little bit too far which is allowing me well not me but allowing my players to beat his tackles look at the moves look at the moves by Eckler unfortunately it's a flag <laughs> imagine all those moves and it was still a flag all those moves are the reason why we got set free a little bit but it was the flag that set us really Travis over the middle nice little play from Cardale who's not having a bad game as a backup but Still, Cardell getting a bit of getting a play, bit of play time this season, and yeah, I don't know what to tell you there. I feel like Travis could have got up there though. He, he definitely feel like he didn't give me a full effort on there. Might have to trade for a new receiver. Mike Williams is gonna die. Look at the safety, Derwin James. Finally, Derwin gets involved in the sack stat party, 
And there you go. Safety. Not bad for the old record. Eckler to the outside. Like I was saying with uh, wide receivers, though. Mike Williams is not bad, but he's just not going to get it done. He's got normal dev. We never throw the ball to him. He's never going to be that guy for us. Inside, was that Mike speaking of? <laughs> it was Mike, and that was an amazing catch. How ironic. <laughs> and inside, there's pass interference. I just tried to take a fade shot. Why not? And we got fouled. Eckler on the pitch to the left side. Eckler gets some room. And honestly, I don't want scores with Eckler. I would rather have them Melvin. But, of course, Melvin benched by rules, even though technically he's not even the starter at this point. And to the outside, Kevin K gets a pick. And we have to fall down it by rule, which makes sense. I mean, I don't need the score anyways. And he gets the ball back. Of course, we only ran it a few times. And, you know, this team can't run the ball. And look at Perriman. There you go. That is the game. Joey Bosa. Kind of got involved a little late, but I don't know why they're showing him. It's really, it was the Melvin show on defense. Offense obviously did its thing. Statistically, it might not be super great for one player. I don't know, maybe Hunter Henry had a pretty solid game. I know the running backs did, and Eckler might have had a few touchdowns, but no one really getting many yards on, uh, on the ground this season so far. We might even be lucky to hit 1,000 total for the year. Not even kidding you. Like, we're just that bad. I know you know you only need a hundred, but a thousand not considering you know accounting the quarterback that might be hard for us. It might be a stretch, but yeah, we might be looking to trade Mike Williams soon. We'll see what we can get. But these are the stats. I wonder if it counts. I might have to talk to the league guys if I have Eckler as the starter. Can Melvin stay in later? And you could say, oh, that's just trying to cheese it. But really, Eckler has been our starter this year. If Eckler is getting way more carries. Is he not the starter? I don't know what to say. So we'll see. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Going against the Colts next week. And uh, they're very underrated. So we got to watch out about them. Hope you guys come back for next video. But until next video, see ya.